This is an overview of the alternating post grid. Let's get started. To get started, drag the alternating post grid into your Elementor column. Even without doing anything or touching the settings, you can see what an awesome layout we got over here. Let's jump inside and go over the settings. So the first setting is for the button over here. You can change the text to whatever you want. For example, instead of read more, I'm going to change it to learn more. Inside of post query, you can filter the posts in many different kinds of ways. You can decide to show different terms, which are post categories, for example. You can order these differently and you can decide how many tiles you want to show. Right now it's showing only 10. Let's jump into style and see how we can style this. The first setting is for color. The color is for the background color over here. We can change that to a darker color, for example, and play around with the color depending on our website design. The next setting is for space under the items. If we want to space them out, we can use this setting over here. To space between the items, you can use the setting over here, space between items. This will just open up your grid and you can achieve a nice layout that way. The next setting is for content padding. It's the padding around the content. Let's push this up to 70 pixels just so we can see how that looks. Awesome. The next setting is for the collapse point. This is for responsive mode to decide from which screen resolution you want the tiles to be one on top of the other instead of one next to the other. Right now it's going under tablet into responsive mode. I'll show that at the end. Item radius is to round your items. and item border you can decide about different borders you might want to add to the item. Border width and border color of course. Let's jump into title. And in the title this is the post title. We can play around with the typography. For example I'll just make that bigger and make the font weight bolder. So you can play around with the title, the date. You can see you can space things out and each setting has a color, typography field, and a spacing field. Same for text. So let's space out the text a little bit and we can make the text a bit darker if we want. Let's jump into button. Over here we can round the button by moving the button radius, moving up the button spacing just so there's some more space and this is aligned nicely. And of course you can change all the different colors and you can decide if you want to add a border or not. In button style we can also make our button full width if we want. So that was an overview of the alternating post grid by Unlimited Elements. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next video.